Good morning from a sunny New York, where the 73rd UN General Assembly is in progress. Yesterday, the first ever UN high-level meeting on tuberculosis was held, in which governments reaffirmed their resolve to end tuberculosis by 2030. I'm Shobha from C CNS. Hello, and sorry, Shobha. Yes, hello. And today, the audio is not clear. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, now it's okay. Okay. Today we are in conversation with Dr. Anung Sugihantono, Director General of Disease Control and Prevention, Ministry of Health, Indonesia. Welcome, Anung. Anung, we all know. Yes, yeah, uh, good morning. Welcome. We all know that 193 member states of the United Nations have committed to achieve the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, one of which is to end TB by 2030. What are the main challenges Indonesia is currently facing in its fight against TB, and what are your plans to overcome them? Yeah, uh, thank you. Good morning, everybody. So, uh, in terms of uh, our commitment within SDG last two years ago, and now we talking about the TB as a part of uh, our indicators of uh, the SDG. Indonesia have a strong commitment to tackling the uh, TB and also. Hi. Yes, hello. Yes. So, um, Indonesia have a strong commitment and also have uh, identify what's the challenging, what's the gap, and also what it's the indicator can be uh, achieved and, and so on. And now, so far, uh, based on the National Development Plan here, uh, 2015 until 2019 and evaluated uh, the TB report uh, 2017. We already on the track of the uh, TB tackling for the SDG target 2030. Uh, what are the main, can you list some of the challenges which are there which you need to overcome? Yeah, uh, according to our country that uh, Indonesia now, as you under, understand that we consist of more than 17,000 17, uh, islands and we have a diversity situation between eastern part and also western part. That is the first challenge. The other challenge is uh, we understanding that uh, in terms of the prevalent who understand Right now, we still have a gap to have a report from the uh, private and also from the hospital. Uh, the second challenge. The third challenge is uh, we have also understanding that uh, the battle of the TB is not only a, a kind of uh, health services that are related with the others. Uh, conditions such as uh, poverty and then uh, what we call the sanitation and also housing and others. So that is a, a, a challenge in Indonesia because uh, we have a spread out into the, all of the province. We have the problem and we also have a challenge with the uh, decentralization era. Okay. You are very right in saying that uh, TB is not just the headache of the health department, but we need uh, a multi-sectoral and interdepartmental cooperation. Yep. So is, are there plans in your country to have more uh, cooperation with other departments? Because you are very right in saying that. Yeah. Um, in terms of the TB, now we already have uh, what we call national action plan for tackling the TB. And the best that we already make it some uh, map of the actor who have uh, responsible to contribute to tackling the TB. And 
Okay, so far, we have what we call a private, a public private mix uh, as approach, and others we also have uh, cooperation and also collaboration with the sub district level and also uh, national. Uh, provincial level for tackling the TB. In the of the national level, as I mentioned before, that we have a national action plan who are line minister and also the uh, vice president. The president has a commitment and they, he already also makes uh, some kind like the presidential degree to uh, strong uh, commitment for the each sector to tackling the TP problem. Okay. Uh, are there any plans to introduce uh, the two new TB drugs which have come now, which are available now like Bedaculin and Delaminate? Mm -hmm. and, also, yeah. and also the first ever child-friendly combinations uh, which mm -hmm. were made available in 2015 thanks to efforts of TB Alliance and other partner organizations. So, do you have uh, any plans uh, in your TV program? Yeah, that is also an, uh, what we have in the National Action Plan. But in terms of to implement all of the activities through some kind like the new drug and also the new vaccine and also the new approach, we have what we call in the national level, we have a national commission. Uh, they have to analyze and also to make it some uh, uh, suggestion for my minister mm -hmm. and after that we will be uh, trying into the piloting if we possible do that and now uh, for the next if we don't have any um, what you call side effect and, and so on we will be implemented just we know that the uh, challenging for TB um, in terms of the uh, patient, it's because uh, the medication is take a long time. So that is uh, also, uh, I would say that the activities of the TB is not only talking about the health services, but also the behavior from the others. Uh, Passion, and then in the in the household and so on. Okay. Uh, just now, the uh, WHO has uh, uh, released a report on childhood TB. So, mm. do you think these uh, child-friendly fixed-dose combinations, which were out in 2015, will they help in reducing childhood TB burden? Mm. Yeah, I think it's a very useful and also very. Uh, yeah, we hope that is. Uh, also as a part of the good uh, opportunity for the next future for the child and also uh, to make it yeah, uh, to decreasing the uh, opportunity of uh, uh, MDR, yeah, multiple factor system and others. Oh. Uh, Anu, there is an increasing recognition that health security is uh, very important to achieve SDG. No exception to universal health coverage and other health issues. Is it a threat or an opportunity in the fight against TB? Hmm. Yeah, um, in terms of Indonesia, the, the members of the National Health Insurance right now is almost uh, it's up to 200 uh, million people. It means almost 35% uh, of the Indonesian population are already part of the universal health coverage. But besides that, the uh, Ministry of Health also support with the drug and uh, medication and others, what we call uh, um, uh, laboratory check and so on and so on. It's just out of the universal health coverage in terms of the social insurance. But the, uh, talking about the universal health coverage it, itself is not only talking about the members, but also talking about the equity and also equality. As I mentioned before, the previous uh, 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 question from you, from you that Indonesia have diversity, so now we spread out the health services into the remote area, 
to make sure that all of the um, Uh, we can't hear you. You yes, we can't hear you. Can you please repeat that? Yeah, yeah. as I mentioned, that the universal health coverage is not only talking about the members, but also talking about the equity and equality. As uh, I mentioned before, in the first question, that uh, Indonesia have a diversity from the eastern part and also western part. Now, so now, uh, Ministry of Health spread out the services. Yeah, the facilities into the uh, eastern part of the Indonesia to make sure that all of the national health insurance is up, uh, um, have uh, access. Yeah, the member of national health insurance have the access for the health services with the same qualities. Okay. Uh, what is Indonesia's message from this uh, high-level meeting to other countries? Yeah, um, as I mentioned, that Indonesia have a long experience with long with the differences of the situation, urban, rural, in the uh, with the other situation. So yesterday, uh, I speak, I spoke it in the uh, multi-sectoral uh, meeting that Indonesia. Uh, Proud and also have a chance to make collaboration and also to support if some of the um, country need to support from Indonesia experience and also we are working together to make it collaboration uh, to ending DP 2030. Okay, uh, Anung, as we are streaming this session live, we have some questions coming from the viewers right now. So mm. I would be very grateful if you could answer at least two of them. Can I yeah, ask? Yeah. Those, yes, those questions. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you please tell us uh, something about the progress made in Indonesia in preventing, diagnosing, and treating children with TB? This is one question. Yeah. Uh, the first uh, for preventing that we have uh, immunization for the all children in Indonesia. That is uh, also the national program of uh, immunization and the what we call basic immunization in Indonesia. And another one we have also the uh, what we call um, healthy lifestyle movement. It means that uh, almost all of the Indonesia citizens have to understand about the activities of the healthy lifestyle as a part of the uh, prevention, as uh, like this one. In terms of the uh, children, we also have uh, what we call a family health approach. It is a uh, mean that the Indonesian um, health services is not only working with waiting in the health services such as a public health center and also hospital. But now we uh, provide some activities that health personnel from the Puskesmas go through the household to identify the risk factors, to identify the behavior, and also to identify the uh, situation of the health in this household. This is also the part of uh, what we call um, a promote and prevention for TB in Indonesia, especially in uh, 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 children. Okay, thank you. There's another question. Uh, another viewer says, Dr. Anung, we compliment you and the Indonesian government for committing to end malaria by 2030 as well. Mm -hmm. May we ask, what is the progress towards malaria elimination in your mm -hmm. country? Any challenges? And also, is antimicrobial resistance a challenge for uh, controlling malaria and other diseases? Yeah, uh, talking about the malaria, um, uh, so far now we Indonesia have uh, 514 district level. From that, uh, almost 273 uh, district are already eliminated malaria and declared to already eliminate malaria. This is the progress because at that time, uh, three years ago, uh, almost uh, two fourth, uh, two Third, yeah, of the district level uh, have uh, malaria. 
thank you thanks anu uh, very grateful for finding time for uh, today's conversation uh, friends you will listen to dr anu sugi antono director general of disease control and prevention ministry of health indonesia thank, thank you, you very much thank you thank you very much good morning Bye.